Hey there, I'm Michael Coos with Russ Kate. We are two Mets on the mic. Hey, Russ, uh, weather taking a bit of a turn again this week. All of a sudden, over the weekend, the forecast models started changing, bringing this locked-in low-pressure system with lots of upper-level support into Alberta by the middle of the week, yep. really. That's when it strengthens and almost becomes stationary, and that's going to affect us all the way back here on the coast. I know. Isn't that funny? We talk about an Alberta low, and you're like, well, what does that have to do with us? We're way out yep. here in the, the BC southwest coast. Well, it's a large-scale system. It does throw the clouds back across the uh, the Rockies, across parts of the interior mountains, through the Kootenays and the interior as well. And, yeah, I think we'll get some showers around here. But it's sort of finding those little details, finding the individual small-scale waves of precipitation that's going to require some fine-tuning. Uh, I'm bringing some showers in here tomorrow morning but that's from the feature from the gulf of alaska riding down on the inner side of the trough and then as it wraps around into alberta it deepens through midweek so for canada today maybe some showers in the valley or around the mountains i'm not too pessimistic about the forecast locally i'm actually pushing a lot of the showers back to wednesday night and thursday that looks cooler and wetter to my eye what do you see I think uh, Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday will probably be the grayest day. Again, tough to say exactly when those shower bands will come through, but yeah. I don't see any sunshine in there on Wednesday at all. Um, and if you're heading into the interior, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy one of our breakfast television yeah. uh, editors, was asking me about his vacation into <laughs> Soyuz for camping this week. And I said, oh, it doesn't look too bad. Then I took a closer look at the models. And it doesn't look too good. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it, we, we call them hit and miss downpours, but downpours is the key word there. And with all that cooler air aloft, uh, entirely possible for some localized heavier showers in the interior through that midweek stretch, as you mentioned. Hey, we're waiting to string together a few drier days in a row. Do you see anything like that? Well, again, it could be like this past weekend where we get a nice little setup heading into Friday, probably a developing improvement, and then Saturday, Sunday, potentially next weekend, and that times out nicely. Yeah, everything looks good in the long range. We'll just see if it works out, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Russ. Have a good one.